why are so many Sailor Moon fans outraged by the new addition in Sailor Moon Crystal of Neo Queen Serenity and her looks? Let's talk about that. If you are new to my channel, my name is M, and I am a huge Sailor Moon fan. Cue the merchandise. We got the manga. We got art that I got from Khan that was drawn just for me because I paid a lot of money for it. We got an unholy addiction to Sailor Moon um, little figures and pretty, pretty, pretty figures. Even some down there. We got Sailor Moon plushies. We got Sailor Moon wands and other Magical Girl wands, but Sailor Moon wands. And we have a bunch of Sailor Moon apparel because that's all we wear. Huge. I am a very big Moony, and so when I see some Moony talk happening on the Twitters, the Instagrams, the wherevers, I immediately hop on it because my curious little brain is like, hmm, what's going on? Why, why are people so pressed? It's literally an anime. So today I wanted to talk about a topic that I have seen going around actually TikTok more than Twitter, which is usually Twitter because Twitter users find literally any and everything to rant about these days, but it's actually TikTok I'm wanting to talk about today, which is this comment, which is not necessarily like a hot take or anything, but it made me think, and that's why I decided to make a YouTube video on this. Why do people not like the new version of Neo Queen Serenity, which is Sailor Moon, very, 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 very far into the future as queen of like the whole earth and Maybe even the galaxy at this point. As you can see, I am a manga collector, so I will be including a lot of the manga because personally, I have a lot of takes about the manga and the anime, especially on this topic. But let me just hit you with the fact. People don't like the way that Neo Queen Serenity is characterized, portrayed, just genuinely looks in Sailor Moon Crystal because they don't feel like it fits. The thing about Neo Queen Serenity is that, like I said before, she is Sailor Moon Usagi Sekino, but very, very far into the future. She's older, she's wiser, she's a queen, she's a mother, she has a daughter at this point, Chibiusa. She is literally supposed to be the embodiment of elegance and queendom and just bright light and beauty. So why does she still look like a teenager? Why does she still look 14? And I'm going to put this little clip right here. This is Sailor Moon meeting Neo Queen Serenity. And if you take a look at them, they really don't look that different. Actually, okay, before you start, yes, I do understand that... You know, once she gets to a certain point, she does stop aging. Once Sailor Moon reaches, I believe, around her early 20s, she stops aging. She is like this almost immortal being, <laughs> which, slay, but, <laughs> like, I understand why people, like, are kind of varied about this, because, yes, she does stop aging, so, yes, it is very, very likely that she would still have the face of a younger, maybe more vibrant teenager, but this is where I would like to bring the manga into play. Breaking my shelves up for you guys. I want to take a look at Miss Naoko Takeuchi and her absolutely gorgeous, beautiful art. Absolutely gorgeous. I want us to just take a minute and look at the art of both Neo Queen Serenity slash Princess Serenity, maybe. I do believe this is maybe, maybe also could be Sailor Cosmos. But let's take a look at this art real quick. This is Sailor Galaxia, but look at how beautiful and how elegant she looks. She is very feminine, but very fierce at the same time. And then I would also like to talk about this picture, which is Mamoru and Usagi's wedding. Look at how much older she looks. She looks elegant, beautiful, graceful. Once again, this is volume 12, this is volume 11 of the manga. We have, once again, Sailor Moon. Just look at how beautiful the art that Naoko does. It is so much more beautiful. I'm sorry if you disagree, but personally, I do not care. I do think Naoko Takeuchi has the most beautiful art as the mangaka of Sailor Moon. She has the most beautiful 
art of Sailor Moon and Sailor Scouts and the characters in general. Like the anime does not do justice to it. It's just so much different. It's just, it's on a different level, different level. And I will put some more pictures up to kind of point out my point is how she draws Usagi slash younger Sailor Moon versus how she draws Queen Serenity, Neo Queen Serenity, Princess Serenity, kind of sometimes when she draws them. There is a very stark comparison when Usagi's drawn, she's still very elegant and gorgeous, but she still has that kind of childlike energy about her. But when she draws Neo Queen Serenity, she is very, very, like, not stony faced, but she does look, you know, a little bit hardened, maybe, maybe a little bit more elegant, a little bit more sophisticated than Sailor Moon, who is still, you know, 14 years old in Earth years. She is a child still, but Neo Queen Serenity has lived for a very, very, very long time. Many, many decades she has been alive. So it makes absolutely 100% sense, absolutely so much sense for her to be a little bit more grown up than Sailor Moon understand why a lot of fans are having kind of like a negative response. I wouldn't say fully negative, but some people are like, I really wish that they would have made her a little bit more grown up. I see that and I get that, but I also understand the argument point of this, which is she stops aging. So that could also be it, but there is a very fine difference between aging and just looking more elegant, more hardened with age. Like I said, she's much, much older here than when she was Sailor Moon. So it makes so much sense for her to have seen some things, especially with the final battle of Sailor Moon. It makes sense for all those years of war and battle and now being a literal queen, like the most powerful being in like probably the solar system for her to probably be more look at least look a little bit more aged because she has been through some stuff like she has been through it I feel like it's very reasonable to me for fans to be like yeah this just this isn't right to me i feel like she should be more elegant and personally i think that she should be a little bit more elegant instead of childlike as you know, Neo Queen Serenity, especially towards the end in the new Sailor Moon Cosmos movies. I do feel like even Sailor Cosmos should be a little bit more hardened. Not, I say hardened, but I don't think that's the correct word. Like, just more like, they look like they've been through some stuff, you know? Because they have been. Like, compared to Sailor Moon, especially in the beginning of the anime, she's very, you know, childish, crybaby. She's not really been through, you know, the ringer compared to say, season one versus season five. You know, that girl's been through it at season five. So like, I understand why people are a little pressed. So let me know down below in the comments, how do you feel about this argument? Do you think that, you know, animated Nao Queen Serenity looks fine, it's not that big of a deal to you? Or would you also like to see maybe a little bit more detail? Just make her look a little bit older. Like, you don't even have to make her taller, in my opinion. Like, I've seen some people saying you could make the anime a little bit more compared to the manga where they have super long limbs and are very, like, you know, dainty and feminine and genuinely look like they should be, like, on... A model like runway but personally I do believe just giving them more like a little bit of a harder expression could convey the point that they are supposed to be older let me know where you fall on that spectrum so if you like this video please remember to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye